I think so. I'm lucky. Uh, I land on my uh, my jump. I take uh, the initial line. Yeah. I didn't change. I take my line for today. To ride a lot in free ride, in forest, and jump uh, everywhere. And after, uh, should have good legs for <laughs> jump uh, all the things. And I I hope for for them uh, they should have the same way as me. It doesn't went very well because I crashed at the top on the landing of my bike flip mm -hmm. and I lost both skis so of course I'm very disappointing but but uh, because it's home too you know you always want to be good and try to make good skiing at home but unfortunately not this year and so yeah it's like that but nothing is done for the rest of the tour so still have time to come back and uh, try to focus on the next event now. Well, I had the luck, of course, to, to be born and to grow up up here and in, in a mountain guide family for five generations or something like that. So I really grew up into this, uh, I would say, mountain environment and heard about mountain story. And I've been skiing in the mountain, like doing free riding since I'm really young. And so, of course, uh, because of all that and everything, when when free riding came out, kind of like 15 years ago, uh, I say, okay, that 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 that's the sport I like to do. That that's that's look like me. Yeah. Well, I would say that it's a uh, it's a really cool way of life, and uh, there's a lot to learn, and a lot to travel, and a lot to discover too. So this is yeah, it's it's a good, it's a great uh, life that I'm living right now. And uh, if they can make it and work out for that, they they will be happy and creature. And on the other hand, they also yeah really need to take care because free riding it's still a outdoor sport and. Uh, that we're doing in the nature and with all these dangers, so they also have to, to take care of that and uh, and try to be, how to say, try to think all the time about what are they really doing and why are they doing and stuff like that. So, but still, it's just a fucking cool way of life. <laughs> it's a uh, very different than the free ride world qualifier when I come from uh, last year. But uh, now it's very good because the level is very high and uh, it's, it's, it's good for my evolution in ski because uh, I learned during all the stop like in uh, Rivalstock or in Komaya but uh, it's difficult to, how do you say, to grade the, pre the pressure and uh, like here when I was on the top I was so stressed because uh, I'm at my hometown, there are all my friends, and uh, it was my last chance to valid and uh, ranking. But uh, no, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I have never, I have never been in this phase before because uh, it's very difficult uh, to access on the top. It's uh, 80 minutes uh, of hike. It's very long, but. Uh, I choose a line uh, for my kind of ski, and uh, no, uh, I I check the face uh, like uh, there was a rider yesterday, and uh, after I found uh, my run. Yeah. <laughs> for this year, uh, I just want to finish in the top 12, and uh, my dream for this winter, I would like to go to the Bec de Ross in Verbier for the final. And uh, after I secure my place in the freeride world tour, yeah. When I saw the other rider, uh, I just I just learned from uh, their ski because uh, I think I have my I have my style of ski, and uh, I don't want to change uh, because uh, I'm in the world tour or to to do uh, the same ski like uh, another rider like Aurel Aurelien or Marcus Eder or yeah no. I want to develop my ski and uh, yeah.
Let's go!